So here's some tips on how to land an old rich husband. Yes, we're going to start a new series. This is called Let's Get Right With Me to Find a Boyfriend at Target. This is how I went from living off daddy to attracting millionaire boyfriends that flew me around the world for first class dates. Let's get one thing clear. Where to meet sugar, meet sugar daddies. daddies and wealthy provider men. Well, summer is here, dating apps are out. Here are some places that you can meet men in the wild. Where to meet high net worth men. I'm finally going to make a video on how I find my sugar. Where to find your future wallet. Attention! If you want to be my husband and you live on this road, come outside now! We don't care. Where to Where meet, sugar, meet daddies. sugar daddies and wealthy provider men. So I'm going to start off with go old. Go old, old is gold, okay? Go for the older man, number one. Young dudes are still trying to get their bag. They will not take care of you like an old man will. Number two, go to nice areas, golf clubs, nice gyms, restaurants, cafes, nice high-end cocktail lounges, five-star hotels. Go to all these places, sit around, look cute, drop a napkin, you'll get what you want. I'm starting a revolution where we don't find our significant other on dating apps. All right, girls, summer is here. Dating apps are out. Here are some places that you can meet men in the wild. First up, we've got car shows, okay? We all know that guys like their toys, so great place to go. Then we've got conferences and networking events. Go to a tech conference, and I promise you, it won't look like much from the outside, but get to talking to the men, and there are some of the top elite men you'll ever meet. And then of course, happy hours, financial district, great choice. Food festivals are also a very good choice. And of course we've got gyms, but I think it depends on which gym you go to and what time of day you go to. But gyms are always relevant. And last, go to parks, dog parks, hiking, golf courses, anywhere where there's greenery, go. And if you need some tips on how to make conversations with the men that you meet in these areas, I have a bunch of examples in my dating tip ebook, connected to um, a hospital so I'm dressed up and there's a lot of real doctors here so let me just in case there's a husband husband where you at doctor doctors <laughs> doctor daddies where y'all at we're here for y'all <laughs> Stop. I'm praying for an African man that want to come over here and be my husband. I help you get your green card, your visa. I got food stamps. I got child support. I take care of you. You come over here be a father to my daughters, carnation, cremation, cash happy, and my other kids. I'm just here. I'm looking for a man. Or you could be an American man as well. But come over here. I buy you a car. All right, if you're going rich husband hunting, please listen up. I'm not talking about this commenter specifically, but I've gotten some stories from my friends that work at some of the places um, that I've recommended, and we need some clarification here. All right, if it's a restaurant bar that I'm recommending, go between 6.30 and 8.30 p.m. on a Wednesday or Thursday. If it's like a bar bar, I would say Thursday through Wednesday or Thursday through Saturday between like... 10 p.m. and midnight because nothing good happens after midnight and if it's a lunch spot i've recommended i would say between 1 p.m and 3 p.m you have to remember that like these men are working they're not the people that are going to early lunch at 12 p.m or going to a 5 p.m dinner and also when you're going out like you have to order your first drink i don't know why that's not like a given but yeah if you have any other questions please let me know um yeah Bye, guys. Yes, we're going to start a new series. This is called Let's Get Right With Me to Find a Boyfriend at Target. This is going to be the fit. Um, we're coloring our hair real fast, and I'm going to throw, the, I'm gonna throw this little headpiece on. And then I have this brown little crop top. Nothing crazy. I got these pants from Target from Target. Hey, hey. These are so gas. Um, you can literally sit and drive and, like, twerk, and it just works. But anyways, I'm wearing these and some white socks. Um, let's go ahead and finish our hair real fast. Yes, I know. Granted, Target isn't the best place to find a boyfriend, but Hinge is not working out. The gym, maybe it's because I just started going, so maybe I should give it time. But anyways, let's get ready. 
I'm just like thinking about it. I'm like, I'm gonna get ready everywhere I go because you know, someone's gonna fall in love with all this. But cool, this side's kind of curled. We're not going for a super, super curled look, just like wavy messy. So now let's, let's do it this side. All right, so as you can see, my hair's done. So now we're gonna pop this bitch on. All right, cool, hair's done, fit's done. Let's go find a boyfriend. Hey, how do I find a rich man? Easy, sis. Give it to that damn McDonald's mindset. The problem is not finding rich men. The problem is simply you dating out of your league. You're looking for men that are looking for a specific kind of woman and you ain't it. I mean, sorry, but look around you. You're in pieces. You ain't got no goals. You don't have anything besides the car, the bills, the roof over your head. And those are the basics. But it is 2022. You do not get points for that.